Hi guys, it's Nicole with Honest Try TV. Welcome back. And today we're going to be doing the fully loaded pork taquitos from HelloFresh. Um, prep time, five minutes. Haha, -ha, we already know that's a lie. Cook time, 30 minutes. And we're going to do four servings for me, Jason, and my parents. So here we have our ingredients um, plus uh, two packages of ground pork. As you can see, I'm still in my mom's kitchen. <laughs> so uh, we'll be operating from here for the next uh, two weeks and then heading back Memorial weekend. We'll be heading back home. So um, first up for prep here, I need to turn my oven on 425 and line a baking sheet with foil and lightly oil. Wash and dry all the produce. And then, oh, the only thing we have to prep is an onion. So we're gonna thinly slice most of it and then mince a little bit of it, enough to make one tablespoon. All right, sounds good. So let's get started. Let's open up our ingredient bag and see what we're dealing with. Okie dokie, I shall save this to use as my trash bag, my conveniently located trash bag later. So we've got two onions, and since it said to start with that, that's what we're going to start with. Um, let's get our, our oven going. So first let me check it this time. To make sure that there's no leftovers in here because my mom is one of those people who likes to like stick leftovers from breakfast in the oven um, rather than putting it in Tupperware and sticking it in the fridge. And I have been known to like recook her food and burn it up. So pepper is at 425. Start. Cool. Let's get our baking sheet with um, it says foil. I like cooking with foil, so we're going to use parchment paper. Let me get my stuff straight. There we go. We'll oil that up later. Um, in the meantime and in between time, let's get our onions prepped. So, I'm going to thinly slice these. Um, a comparison between HelloFresh and Green Chef. One thing I really liked about Green Chef was that for noobs like me, or as they would say on the uh, Epicurious YouTube channel for level one chefs, when they say to thinly slice the onion so that it looks a certain way, I don't know how to do that. And one thing that I really liked about green chef was that it assumed I had no idea how to make certain cuts and gave me directions specifically for like how to position the vegetable so that I could slice it correctly to get the cuts that I needed for the recipe. I liked that a lot. Um, found that very helpful. So um, they don't do that with HelloFresh. They assume that I know how to make these slices. I kind of vaguely remember what um, Green Chef taught me. So I think I know what I'm doing. Um, but they definitely don't give you those directions. They're basically like, yeah, you're going to mince this and you're going to slice this and you're going to do this. And if you need more specificity than that, you better seek YouTube to get it. Ooh, slice that a little deeper. Mm, still looking brown, whatever. We'll, we'll get you. We'll just get you, my friend. Mm. I love onions. I do. But Lord, they be tearing my poor little eyes up. Onions and scallions make me cry. Every time. Oh. 
already a problem. We're not even slicing yet. But oh my gosh, the smell. It just smells amazing. I can't wait to eat here. By the way, as per usual, I'm starving. I always like start cooking when I'm hungry, but I feel like that's normal. Jason was like, you should start cooking earlier because you don't want to sound like sad and depressed and hungry <laughs> and frustrated and angry, <laughs> hangry. Um, and apologies, I don't mean to, but I feel like this is normal. Like don't most people start cooking when they get home from work and aren't you hungry at that time? I don't know how to do this. So I know that I, I think that I slice it in half. Sorry, I'm like struggling my poor little eyes. Let's just take a step back. And I think I do it like, like this, that way. Da, 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 da. Versus this way, da, 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 da. So let's give it a shot and see if, if it works. If not, you know, we can always adjust course later. Y'all can't see me, but these tears are flowing. Ooh, these these tears are flowing. Ah, okay, I'm back. Oh, the struggle. What am I gonna do with these onions? Let me just walk away for a moment and read the directions. Okay. Ah, oh, still crying. Heat, large drizzle. Oh, Lord. Tissue, tissue. tissue here. Oh, oh my eyes. Lord, help me. Heat, heat, large drizzle of oil in large pan over medium heat. Add sliced onion. Cook for three minutes and then add pork. Then add seasoning. Okay, I'm here. Okay. I'm almost. Let's do it. I'm going to continue to give my eyes a little break, a little break. <laughs> and let's see what else we got to do. So we're going to add our pork and then we're going to add our mm -hmm, Southwest spice, right? Southwest spice plus two packages of that plus our, um, Tex-Mex paste, Tex-Mex, Tex-Mex paste, which is that, plus a third of a cup of water, a half a cup for four servings. Simmer until thickened. All right, let's find our little measuring cup here. Half a cup of water. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Come back. Pick up where I left off with my other little friend here. I think I'm going to do it the long one. Yeah. I'm going to do it like that. I don't know if that's correct, but whatever. All right. Got that diced up. And we will set that aside. What are we doing with that? Small bowl, combined tomato. Oh. Okay, so let's do that now. Okay, so let me grab a bowl. Okay, wait, what was I supposed to do again? This is me like half reading, half remembering the instructions. Okay. Blah, 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 three minutes. Then add pork. Blah, 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 four to six minutes. Okay, so before I start in these tomatoes, let me, let me, uh, let me go ahead and add this pork because I feel like it's been three minutes-ish. 
there a way to open this without using a knife or scissors? Perhaps? Yes? Does this peel back somehow? Come, 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 friend. I feel like the packaging from other thingies were just a little easier to get into without needing to like. Okay, now you're gonna have to cut it. All right, fine. <clears throat> just a moment, please. Let's make our way. doing that let me rinse these bad boys off because they're looking a little dirty we're gonna blah, 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 dice so again they're assuming that i know how to dice i don't i don't know how to dice a tomato so keep me in prayer definitely don't know how to dice a tomato We're gonna use this tear. Is there a tear? There is a tear. Here we go. I didn't add the water because I had a lot of water kind of cooked off of the water and oil kind of cooked off of the pork and I just didn't want to, I already had a half a cup of water floating in there anyway. So I skipped that stuff. Um, so we're done. We're going to turn off the heat and Move it off the eye and let it just kind of sit over here and do its thing while we finish slicing up. Actually, we, we, we don't have to finish slicing up the tomato. We can go ahead and throw these taquitos in the, in the oven. So they, they, could be, they could be baking while we finish working on our salsa. Okay, so back to the taquitos. We're going to drizzle our tortillas with um, olive oil, brush them to coat, and then we're gonna add pork and cheese and roll them, roll them like so. Then we're gonna layer them into our baking sheet and bake for about 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and get that. Going. Here's our tortillas. Here's our queso. Let's see if I can scoot closer so you can see me. See me make my taquitos. Um, I'll do it right here so everything's visible, right? All right. Okay. Um, so, yeah. This is pretty much every day for me. Being a Latin. Latin household. This isn't anything new. And now we're going to add some of the filling, the pork filling. It's looking really nice. Aww. All right, 
and we're just gonna burrito these suckers and lay them. Oh, you know what? I forgot to, <laughs> I forgot the olive oil. No! Okay, we can fix it. We can fix it. We can fix it. Mama can fix it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna oil the sheet and then I'll brush the tops and we'll call it a day. I'll do the rest of them, but I'm not gonna worry too much about this. There we go. Boom. giving me it looks like 12 total so I'll be interested to see how many I can get I'll be interested to see how many I can get on a sheet let's go ahead and oil you bad boys up so we don't forget again okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so Jason, let's say Jason eats three, my father eats three, me and my mom eat two. Is that gonna be enough food? Do I wanna dirty up another pan for like one more taquito? I should, right? Better than throwing away a taquito. All right, let's do it, it's great. So we've got time. I think I've got enough for like maybe one more. <laughs> one more lone taquito going on this last pan here. May I have two left? Can make some two thin ones. I don't know. I guess I should spread them out. Meh, screw it. I don't care. Let me wipe this off my hands, all this olive oil, and put these in the uh, put these in the oven. All right, so we're gonna set that for eight minutes. The next up, we're gonna go back to making our salsa. So we've got one tomato dice. We need to dice the other one. Then it says to zest and quarter a lime. I don't have a zester, so we're just going to quarter it. Don't to worry about that too much. tomatoes then we're going to quarter our lemon sorry our lime so we're combining the onion the lime juice tomato wait I did something wrong oh I did something wrong we're just supposed to combine the what the hell Oops, sorry. What? Where's the tomato come in? Oh yeah, no, no, no. It is, I was writing this correctly. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, I'm right. Tomato, onion, lime, and salt. So for the salsa, I will set, I will get a small bowl and set some aside for my mother. That is lime free. So she won't have an allergic reaction because that's not what we want. All right, so let's just, here's my mommy's portion. Boom. All right, and this is for the rest of us. 
to split. So let's add slime juice. This, this salsa, okay, so sorry, guacamole, this guacamole, like, it comes pre-made. It better have some lime in it. Like, why would you package pre-made guacamole and not have any lime? Like, I understand adding a little bit more for some punch, but there, sh there should be some in it already. Quitos, it's been, hold on, let me look for light. In seven minutes. Oh. Where's the light? Where's the light? Where's the light? <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, they're looking fine. I'm gonna pop these bad boys out. It's been seven minutes, and I think that's enough time. Are a little burnt. I'll give those to Jason. He'll be alright. My baby don't care. If it's dead in season, he will eat it. Alright. Let's try this again. Mmm. I can taste the um, lime now at least. Set that aside. Lastly, we're going to make a bowl of guacamole. This is interesting, combining the pre-made guacamole with sour cream. Haven't heard of that before. Why not serve them separately? Really? Let me reread these instructions. In a separate bowl, combine guacamole, sour cream, lime juice, salt, and pepper. Okay. Ah, no, man down, man down. All right, there we go. Sour cream packages added, lime already added, stir it up. Okay, let's taste it. I'm not going to add any salt. Tastes salty enough as it is. We'll add a crap ton of pepper though. And we're done. All right. Bye, taquitos. So it's going to be taquito, guac, pico de gallo, and then hot sauce. Layer on top. So I'm going to go ahead and make a plate for demonstration purposes and then I'm going to feed my family. Um, wow, I'm looking at the timer. It says it's been an hour. You know, they'd be lying on these instructions. It's only going to take you 35 minutes. Haha, -ha, where at? So just a moment while I gather some plates. 
and there we go. No hot sauce for my father because he doesn't like spicy. So here we are. And inside. Do, do, do. So yeah. These are our taquitos. So I'm gonna go ahead and serve my family and I'll be back to let you know how it went. Hey guys, it's Nicole, I'm back. And we just, sorry, let me stop leaning on the platform that the camera's on. Um, we just finished dinner. We have two taquitos left. Um, my parents could only eat two. <laughs> so I, I served three each. Cause there were three, there were 12, there were 12. And so um, I served three each to everyone Jason and I ate our three. My parents can only eat two. So Jason has two left over for later this afternoon for supper. Um, so as you can see, all of our pico de gallo is mostly gone. We do have some um, guac left. Um, before I could even finish making Jason's plate, my dad was saying that the food was good. So my family really liked it. I would give it a... Um, <clears throat> I guess an 8 out of 10. Jason! Yeah? How would you rate this? Give it a hard 8. Same. Yeah, so we... That sauce is fire. Mm-hmm. So, 8 out of 10 for um, today's recipe. It took me about an hour, guys. Like, this whole 5-minute prep, 30... Are they just be... Who? In what work? For, okay. In who? <laughs> Fully loaded pork taquitos. Um, it's pico de gallo, rock, guacamole, and hot sauce. Um, yeah, very well received by my family. We really liked it. Um, so feel free to give us a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe! Subscribe to our channel. Um... So this is the third recipe in our second HelloFresh box. So um, our third box is going to be arriving today. It's Wednesday. And I do have one more recipe for us to do from the second box. So stay tuned for that. Um, hopefully I'll be preparing that tomorrow. So all right, guys. Thanks so much for joining us. We will see ya. Thanks for joining us. It's been Nicole with Honest Try TV. Bye.